Hello, Chef Marcus Giuliano here. I'm your chef on a mission, chefonamission.com. Today's mission is food fraud. You can go to foodfraud.com, my other website, truthandmenu.com as well. Today I'm continuing my worst of food fraud. Basically to be uh, on this series, worst of food fraud, you have to, you have to have what I feel is pretty hard evidence to me that you're misleading somebody on your menu. Uh, i.e. grass-fed beef, wild salmon, diver scallops, something that is really misleading and you can't answer the questions when I call and you're, or you're totally giving me false information like, yeah, I'm buying fresh salmon and it's out of season and we never buy frozen seafood. And you're telling me you buy something or like, oh yeah, we buy wild Atlantic salmon when wild Atlantic salmon doesn't exist on a commercial level. So there's pretty hard evidence that you have to be doing for me to put you on this where I feel, hey, you're pretty much lying. Um, today I'm going to talk about Ziggy's. Ziggy's Good Food in NYC in Manhattan. Um, now when you go to Ziggy's website, and I spoke to Ziggy on the phone. Now a lot of times, I'm going to give Ziggy one or two points for this. She actually had a conversation with me and actually was like, I didn't know this. I had no idea um, that I was actually serving something or I was buying the wrong thing and mislabeling it. Now here's the neat thing about Ziggy's. Ziggy's is more of an organic restaurant. She prides herself in um, organic ingredients. And here, you go to our website, Ziggy's, ziggysfood.com. I spoke to Ziggy. Um, our mission, f uh, good food dedicated to setting the standard for home-style comfort food. We aim to enrich the nutritional lives of our guests and employees by serving superior quality food in a warm, casual environment. We buy locally to ensure freshness and support our organic farmers. Made with 100% organic, sustainable, and whole food ingredients philosophy then it goes on to and it goes on to organic um uh and then it goes on to delicious and nutritious uh no synthetic fertilizers or pesticides no growth or breeding hormones no antibiotics no gmos and animal care so she goes on she's really playing a good game now this is where she loses those points of her having a good conversation with me people are going here expecting that she is serving the best quality ever uh, now, farm salmon folks has lots and lots of issues. Um, everything from the pesticides, hormones, antibiotics, the the detriment to the to the um, local environment in those areas. It kills off the wild salmon population. There's so many things. Go to nofarmedsalmon.com. You'll see links to other documentaries there. You'll see stories, encounters with locals um, uh, that 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 are telling their story of, about how just nasty and dangerous farmed salmon is. Well, on Ziggy's menu, she has under her daily specials. Now, I don't think it's there now, but it was there when I don't when I when I had originally um, uh, called her. And I can't find that on her website now, so maybe she took that down. Uh, fish, wild king salmon with garlic, herb, olive oil sauce, uh, wild fresh fillet. So I had a conversation with Ziggy about you know about salmon seasons and and how they're how it's really not in season right now it's, uh, it's January it's the beginning of February and she uh, she apologized she goes I had no idea about this she goes I'm just trusting my distributor I'm buying this stuff I thought it was wild I really had no idea a lot of chefs just don't know and some chefs are purposely misleading you and what caused this whole food fraud website of mine was. Um, Back in G, I was a young, aspiring chef, 1999, 1998, 1999. Um, I didn't build a website then, but I was really, really upset with my fellow chef colleagues. Uh, not all of them, just some of them in particular. And there was a guy in Colorado at the Sunbird Restaurant. The Sunbird Restaurant was a chain of, uh, independent chain of different concepts in Colorado. At the Sunbird Restaurant, uh, Seafood House, and the chef would brag in the chef meetings, and one of the chef meetings were at the American Culinary Federation meeting, he was bragging how he keeps his food costs down. He goes, yeah, I take tilapia, at that point it was like two bucks a pound. I take tilapia and call it snapper, you know? So here I'm at the restaurant I'm at, Walter's Bistro, and we're flying in snapper from the Florida Keys at like <laughs> 10 bucks a pound FedEx plus FedEx charges, and I have to fillet it out and serve it, and I'm getting 30 bucks for it, and he's buying tilapia for $2 a pound filleted, and getting 30 bucks for it. I'm like, yeah, that's a great way to keep your food costs down, buddy. And I was just so pissed off. I'm like, chefs can be so scrupulous. They can be so just, it, it, and I feel as a chef, it's my job to, to serve the food that I'm serving, be 100% accurate on my menu. 
Um, are there better ingredients I could be buying? Of course, I'm not the most perfect restaurant out there, but I'm very conscious and I really try. And like, I just did a whole comparison on Tom Colicchio and, and his restaurant out in Vegas, how he's saying he buys all of his, on his menu, all of our beef from, from family farms. When it's, and I, I called and asked them, the general manager, and he was like, nothing goes into feedlots. And I called the company he's buying from, yeah, we process 7,000 head a week and we have hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of farms we buy from, and it goes into our feedlots. And, you know, so, man, oh, man, um, it's just, it, it sucks when these chefs do that because you look up to these chefs and people are looking up to Ziggy's good food because she has this whole philosophy laid out on her menu and people are expecting this and she's been duping people. Now, one can say, well, she just didn't know any better, right? If you're going to put all this stuff on your menu, Tom Clico doesn't doesn't go in depth with, with, with his menu about being organic and this and that, but he does go in depth about not buying GMOs, you know, with his stance with the Environmental Working Group, and he's fighting for that, which is great. I, I appreciate that, Tom. I 100% appreciate your work for that. But when you go to up to fight for something, the best way to fight for it is by stop using it yourself. Now, Ziggy from Ziggy's Good Food, she should know better. If, if you're putting that philosophy on your website, you should 100% know better. And I believe this is far worse than some of the other chefs that I'm calling out because people are going here for that. Some of these Italian restaurants, like that first place La Farina restaurant in Long Island that I called out about years, years back, you know, they're just serving food and they're not advertising it as anything besides wild. And people are going there thinking, oh, I'm eating wild salmon. I'm giving my, you know, I'm doing something good today. People are going to Ziggy's because they think they're doing something good every day with every meal, with every bite. And that for me is the worst of food fraud right there. The worst of the worst of food fraud. So, um, like again, it's a nice conversation with Ziggy. Hopefully she's changed here. Hopefully it was educational for her. And I feel that um, somebody needs to hold these chefs accountable. Um, when Tom Colicchio was misleading people about his, his, his grass-fed beef back in 2009 at his one restaurant, you know, I called the restaurant five, six, seven times. They didn't want to hear from me. They were arguing with me. I called the folks at the American Grass-Fed Association. I said, what in, the world can, what in the world can somebody do? Can you guys enforce this? They go, Marcus, we don't enforce, you know, labeling laws. But, but um, you know, it sucks that Tom Colicchio is doing this, you know, to the grass-fed industry because it's not, not right. And I said, so what can I do? They go, make a video. This is what the American Grass Fed Association says. Make a video and call them out. Put some pressure on them. So my job is to put some pressure on these chefs. Hopefully people watch these videos. And, you know, the owners, whoever, can make comments uh, on these videos that I make. And they can actually call and have a conversation with me. It's not hard to get a hold of me. It's not hard to figure out what channel this is on. I'm not some person hiding out there, um, like just criticizing these chefs. You can have a conversation with me and I'll be happy to, to um, take a look at what you're doing. I'll be happy for you to send me pictures of your invoices to prove what you're buying, to talk to your suppliers. One guy actually said, well, my supplier, and he actually gave me the number to a supplier. I call the supplier and he goes, we're not selling him wild salmon at all. We don't, he's like, he's totally misled. So my goal of this is, is, to, is to educate these chefs and make them switch and stop duping the, the public no matter, no matter what their reasoning is, whether they're naive or stupid, not, not up on it, or whether they're purposely going out there. And I know some of these chefs are purposely going out there and telling you that they're serving you something that they're not. And I haven't even jumped into the thing like tilapia versus snapper, because honestly, I have no way of telling that as well. If I were to go into a restaurant and you give me snapper and you give me tilapia and they're filleted out and I'm looking at the two fish, I'm like, I'm scratching my head, right? I'm like, wow, that's even tougher to do. So there's there's so many layers of food fraud um, and it's just, it sucks, it really sucks. Now, Ziggy's Good Food, she has a thing on her menu where she lists um, grass-fed USDA organic beef, but here's the downfall with that, okay? I hope that's really what that is. If a restaurant goes to say, that they're serving something much better quality and using those definitions. My first thing to say is, well, what farm is it from? Who's the producer? Who's What's the label on it? And if you look at my restaurant, I pretty much lay out our, I just don't say grass-fed beef, grass-fed beef, or, or local. I say the farm, exactly who it's coming from, because you can then actually call that supplier, you can call that farm and say, hey, who sells your product in the Ulster County? Or who sells your, and they're gonna say, Marcus at Aroma Time sells my product, but for her, there's no, there's no source verification there because anybody can put the words organic grass fed and, but as soon as you put a name to it, as soon as you put that farm name to it, it's a, it's a much, much easier for people to find out if you're duping them or not. I'm Chef Marcus Giuliano. If you like these kind of videos, please hit like, subscribe, uh, leave some comments. 
Um, if there's a restaurant that you want me to check out, and I get emails from people, man, I wish I could go public on this. I'm working in a place right now where the owner buys regular chicken and he puts it on his menu as organic chicken, but I can't pull, I can't go public and, and it sucks and this and that. I see my owner duping people left and right. I had a market in Los Angeles. Somebody emailed me two years ago and saying, and it sucks how our owner just passes off all this stuff is organic and it's not organic. It's happening all the time, folks. Buy from a buy from a local farm, buy from a, a, a community supported agriculture, go to the farmer's market, going to the grocery stores is tougher and tougher and tougher. I'm Chef Marcus Giuliano, thanks for watching. If you like my videos, please hit like, subscribe. I know I already said that. I'll talk to you later.